This is Sinestoria. My name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this. A conversation about films in general and the ones that we love the most. Are either one of these any good? I don't watch movies. One person at a time. I actually went to the movie theater last week. I went out with some friends. We watched um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I, I watched you, that too. What'd you think yeah. of it? I think it was better than the first, but I definitely preferred the first because it focused on all the characters uh -huh. and really like spread out the narrative. Yeah. And spread out like your connection with all the characters. Mm -hmm. And this one, the people that really pulled you through it were of course like Drax and Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I feel that. I mean, I just, I, I fell in love with the first one mostly because like, you know, they, they kind of based their entire soundtrack on the <laughs> soundtrack on stuff that I grew up listening to yeah so just like when the, mu the movie started rolling I started remembering all these songs I was like I haven't heard that song in so long <laughs> went on Spotify and like started <laughs> downloading everything so now I was no, definitely it was great. the same way but for like a different reason because like those songs were unavoidable yeah way. so like my family didn't like I was born in Uganda so my family didn't grow up with that type of music mm -hmm. but so it's just like but by the time I came to America I was hearing it here and there or just like passing by someone's car and so I'm like all of a sudden it's like triggering all these like, memories <laughs> so I was just like that one time when I was getting the park playing and that guy gave me a free ice cream cone oh my god and then this was playing. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a film, like a movie buff, a film buff? I love film, absolutely, yeah. Do you go out to the, do you get out to the theater a lot, or? I get out to the theater a lot. I love watching, I do watch a lot of indies and a lot of short films. I'm big on short films. Mm -hmm. Who do you go out with usually? I go out with my buddy uh, Jeff, he's like my best friend um, in Fort Lee, in Jersey. Uh -huh. And we always go to like this nice theater that's super cheap called like Starplex. Uh -huh. So you get like, I don't know, it's why I can never watch a movie in New York because yeah, it's no. fourteen dollars yeah. here and I can't yep, justify yep, it. Yep. And where I can get like fancy seats and free popcorn for seven bucks at like Starplex, I'm like, no way. I feel like a lot of the time the person that you well person or people that you know you tend to go watch movies with kind of um I guess for lack of better words, they like make or break the experience. Like, cause you know, it's um, oh, it's yeah. a, it, like, you know, the, the people that you go out to watch the movie with, it always adds this like kind of heightened sense to like the entire movie and like this, the, the experience of going to the cinema itself. Um, so I guess, why would you, why do you, why, why do you always go out with like, you know, your friend? Why do you always go out with him? Well, besides the fact that he's the only one of my friends that drives. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a convenience. There's, there's no, no. convenience. It's there. really because uh, Jeff and I, we do the same thing for utterly different reasons. Mm -hmm. It's like, it doesn't make sense that we're friends. And, <laughs> um, yeah, everyone has a friend like that. That you just like, sometimes you'll think, like, why? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't we like each other. Here? Yeah, how do we end up here? And, but it makes it so when we like come out of the film and we talk about it, mm -hmm. it's like a very interesting conversation because we're looking at totally different things. Whereas, like, I might be paying it, I'm paying attention very much for like story and character connections. He's looking at the full scene and being like, mm. oh, did you notice this thing? Did you notice this thing? I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I kind of did notice that, but I was fo too focused on how this character was feeling. Yeah. And, yeah, so it makes it really good to talk afterwards. What was the last film that you guys saw together? Uh, Guardians? Yeah, it was Guardians, Guardians. last one we saw together. We always have to go for very, we always go for very bro-y films. <laughs> like, 100%. So it's like we watch Guardians, we watch Fast and Furious. That's what it takes. I just want to race. <laughs> Let's do it. I didn't watch that. Yeah. I didn't watch I, I don't, I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in those. I don't know. I don't. I don't believe, don't believe in those in movies. movies. I don't believe in those movies. It's like after the first two, <laughs> after the first two, where like they actually had like a mission where mm -hmm. they were like, yeah, like you know, we're gonna race cars. We're like kind of broke. We gotta yeah. make it. Like those were good movies. But then like after the third or fourth one, like they're driving cars off of planes and bridges. And okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I think there was definitely more stunts as you moved on later. And the thing about that series, though, is that well, there was the director change. Yeah, as in the third movie was just called Fast and Furious. The mm -hmm. first one was Fast Furious. <laughs> like that's one thing I love the naming system. Yeah. But, um, 
it's the thing about those films is that they hold up just because you just have to accept it. Yeah. And it's like kind of for me, it's almost a baseline. Like this is it. This is like something I can enjoy and just watch. Exactly. And just, like, yeah. It's it's something that you just you just go to watch. It's like I feel like the same like about like Transformers. Yeah. Like growing up as a kid, I was like Transformers is like the greatest thing in the world. Exactly. Like, it's so cool. And then like you know I started watching. I watched the first one with like was it, with like Shia LaBeouf and like Shia LaBeouf was still in them. I'm like yo, these things are the greatest things in the world. But like as I got older, I was just like, I'm like, eh. I'm like I don't think there's stuff on the moon. <laughs> I was just like, there's no way that you guys were on the moon. And then they put um. What's his name? Mark Wahlberg. They yeah. put Mark Wahlberg in them and they were like, oh, you know, there were robots with dinosaurs. Autobots meet Dinobots. Look at the size of those things. Great Cybertrons. Holy Hectrodyne. Dinobots, huh? I thought you were supposed to make dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinobots, transform. <laughs> Interesting. Like, yeah, I know. But it's just like, there's this movie, like, you know, you just go and, like, you just switch it off, and you're just like, this was a night, like, this was a visually pleasing thing to watch. Exactly. And it's always, that's how I, that's how I usually feel about stuff like, stuff like that. Yeah. I was just realizing when I was saying my baseline, because, well, as I was saying, Jeff and I do the same thing for different reasons. Yeah. Because he 100% love cars. He's like all into mm -hmm. it. He's there for the explosions. Mm -hmm. He's all about it. And then I watch it as a baseline because it reminds me how you should be watching film. Mm -hmm. You just have to go in there, accept this world, and not question why they need, exactly, like, yeah. they need a helicopter to drop this car. Instead exactly, of just like yeah. walking in as normal people and just stealing the thing normally. No, yeah, because I feel like I feel like one of my things, especially with movies, is because like you know, movies with like a lot of art was always intended to be like some kind of like escape, like you know, movies, art, music, stuff like that. Like you know, it's it exists outside like this, I guess, reality that we paint ourselves in for a reason because it's meant to be some form of escape. So like, I always I always hate going to movies with people that are like. Like, you know, they, they can't do that. Yeah. Like, like, it's a movie. Like, you know, it's a movie. Like, you know, it's supposed to make sense, but like, you know, we're admiring, we're admiring this art for what it is within the world and like the parameters that they themselves set up for us. Like, you know, we're supposed to, you know, uh, enjoy it within that. Ultimately, I guess at this point, like, you know, what I guess movies mean to us. Cause like, you know, everyone kind of has like their, their escape as far as like art goes. It's like, you know, everyone has like, you know, there are people that prefer like, let's say like going to museums and looking at art more. There are people that like, you know, look at music more and say like, you know, I love this album because um, I listened to it like at a pivotal time in my life. This is why it, it matters to me. And you know, with movies, um, a lot of people tend to like kind of draw lines between like, you know, movies and I guess like what was going on with their life or like something, it's just, it matters to them. There are always movies that matter to them. Like for me, one of the movies that I love the most, I guess it's it's like one of the biggest cop out answers in the world. They're one of the biggest cop out stories, but I love I love Star Wars. I love I love I love A New Hope. No, it's not true. That's impossible. I love it because like A New Hope. I always look at A New Hope, and um. Pulp Fiction as like the two movies that made me want to like pursue like mm -hmm. filmmaking as a career. I think uh, I totally get that. I'm definitely someone who is a pivotal moment in life type of film person. Mm -hmm. And it's very, all of my, if I was to say like the films that influenced me the most and it like definitely inspired me to like, because um, I studied video communications in mm -hmm. college and let me down that path where all the internet, like early YouTube, like the first YouTube pioneers and Newgrounds pioneers. So when it came yeah. to like, I'd watch Miyazaki as a kid, but I was like, that's something I could never do. Get out of here now. What? Leave before it gets dark. You've got to get across the river. Go, I'll distract them. And I'd watch Ego Raptor, like making like some joke about Metal Gear. I hate this suit. Hey, what's up, Snake? Ah, uh, can I take off the suit? Yeah, whatever, but it's pretty fucking cool. Some video games I played, I'd be like, oh my god, this looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I could maybe do that sometime. There's like thousands of people doing similar stuff, and there's so much like great animation out there. And then with um, with actual filmmaking, it came about when I watched Black Box TV, which was uh, independent, like just short film channel mm -hmm. on like. Uh, YouTube and they just did like a lot of horror like short like horror and sci-fi and it was like very inspiring to me because I was seeing of course all the YouTube creators that I liked but then in this scenario where they weren't necessarily the best actors but like these filmmakers really pushed them and like drove them through and made such a great like narrative 
visually mm -hmm. that I was like finally kind of understanding some of the ways that like film can be used and like the many ways rather than just watching what I was like allowed to and just like knowing like oh there's like Tarzan out there and there's like a Fast and Furious movie and like there's more to it than just that but I think um, when it comes to my favorites I'm definitely more of like the um, I love just movies that pulled me emotionally mm -hmm. and so like I mean I can't really think of the ones when I was younger because I wasn't watching like things that really tried my emotions until I got older uh -huh. until I like really understood what emotions no, were. No, yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so like watching things like um, Operator. She sounds exactly like you. Obviously it's more predictable. We're all predictable. Well, I'm not. Actually you are. I might have the data. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's kind of, it's a film about um, a programmer who uses his wife for an AI he's building like uses her voice for it okay and then it like puts a big strain on the relationship and his wife is also an actor mm -hmm. so like I could relate to both that both characters in like different ways okay but it was the narrative was really good and the way they like build the relationship and move it from just being a comedy to like really being um, a drama and like what the stress is putting on their lives and then like so it's very similar to like her and yeah I was gonna say that it kind of kind of sounds like her yeah Except like her is with an AI, where it's like that grows into mm, that grows into something like you know like, like also the movie AI. I'm a big sci-fi guy. AI. <laughs> yeah. 